what up y'all so doing this video challenge with indigo um we gotta post a video for 30 days and we're gonna look at who's going to post the most <laughs> um, i don't think she understands quite that i'm gonna win this um and I'm going to get my Cheesecake Factory. You know, um, if she wins, she gets seafood from wherever. Not to see $20. <laughs> Need to take her to get some good, some good corner shrimp or some raised shrimp house back in good old Gary, Indiana. And actually, good corner don't exist anymore. But I'm posting this. Because I want to introduce you guys again to who I am, uh, GI Operation. Back in 2008, I started a, a, a network of Black Folk Hotspots. I had a dream, and the name and everything was there. And it was, why don't you do what you've been doing for yourself, but do it for black business owners. And at that time, what I was doing was, I was blogging for dollars which means I would create uh, websites around, uh, blogs around uh, a product or service and I was doing affiliate marketing and I would, that's how I would make my money. And my goal was to get 10 of those doing $500 a month with the $60,000 a year, which now I can, you know, it'll allow me to maneuver um, how I wanted to maneuver as a starting point, right? Because that money will be just coming in, right? And all I had to do was service it, passive income. Uh, so so many different little things that a lot of people don't know uh, what we do. When I had that dream and the name was in it, it was Black Folk Hotspots. I got up that day and I I I created the blog around it and and it just grew, 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 grew. Well, um, I was always looking for something, and I still want to say exactly what I'm looking for. Well, actually, I was looking for a CEO to take over for me. Um, to take it, I felt like I had gotten into a certain spot, and so I was like, somebody else can take it to the next level, um, and then we could position it for whatever we want to position it to. We still got a couple hundred thousand people uh, that's following uh, Black Folk Hotspots. The thing now is to re-energize, and um, I'm now in the Phoenix area, not in the Chicago market anymore. So that's Chicago and Atlanta, uh, DC, so that, that Midwest East. So now I'm gonna work on the West, uh, out here, LA, Vegas, Phoenix, you know, Albuquerque. Seattle was always a big part of my market too. But that's just who we do. So check out uh, Black Folk Hotspot. So it's at BFHS Network. Or you can go to Linktree um, and connect wherever you want to connect. But when you share, we share. Our business is yours. So that's what we want to do. That's part of it. We also want to promote black authors, uh, especially children's book authors, because uh, that's really big. Um, I still sell books on Amazon, which I've been doing. I sell on eBay, um, and I work. You know, a lot of people, a lot of these business owners, they floss on 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 the on the gram or on the internet. Uh, they floss like you know they making all this money in their business, and at the same time they're not. They're working a nine to five, so I can never get them before a midday meeting. <laughs> that was a little trick, um, you know. I think we should be more transparent and we should be more honest with, with our people and, and letting them know, um, you know, it's, it's, it is a struggle to start, right? The young people got to know this. The people that's coming up behind us got to know it's a struggle, right? Um, and I, I don't think that we necessarily always uh, do that like we're supposed to. Um, but this is just me renting on my way to the gig um, in this Phoenix Monday morning traffic is about 7.30. I suppose it'll be there at 7.30. But I got a 10 minute grace period. <laughs> I use every minute of it too, every day. Uh, anyway, y'all, thank God for, you know, clocking in from the highway. No, I'm just kidding. I, don't, I would never do that. <laughs> and then you walk in and your manager who was never on time is on time. Like, God damn, I've never, that's never happened to me. But anyway, y'all, y'all have a great Monday morning. Move like a tortoise. Move like a tortoise. 
Hustlers Move in Silence. Peace. GIOperation.com. Well, actually, not GIOperation.com, because GoDaddy stole that from me some years ago. Uh, but at GI Operation, that's who you are, that's where you're watching this. Go check out BFHS Network, check the link in the bio, um, and then you can go find out where we're at on YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and uh, TikTok and all over so that we can help your business grow um, by giving, giving you more exposure. I'm also on a thing to do like 15 push ups until my birthday because I'm walking on my 50th birthday with my shirt off somewhere. <laughs> I'm just doing 15 push-ups. Let's see what that works out to. I could probably increase it, but I can commit to that. And that's where we always, I always tell people in business, just be consistent, right? Whatever it is. If you can commit to doing something five times a day, do it. If you can commit to something doing one time a day, one time a day do it. But whatever it is, just be consistent in it. And you'll always see it. That's why you move like a tortoise. Anyway, y'all. Who do you think is going to win? GI Operation. Um, or Indigo. Um, and check out our content. But, um, and it's on YouTube too. So these are this, this is the YouTube channel. So uh, go check it out. YouTube.com forward slash BFHS Network. That's short for Black Folk Hotspots Network. Peace, y'all.